Welcome. In front of me is a QBot Note 9 and today I will show you how we can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, I will mention that this process will remove things like screen lock. So if you have one that you just don't know, you can get rid of it this way. But there is a caveat to it. So if you do this, um, you will remove the screen lock, but if you are logged into Google account, the device will become FRP locked after the factory reset is finished. So you will be able to either verify it later on by either using the screen lock again to verify throughout the setup process or by logging into your Google account. Uh, so for verification purposes only. And uh, if you don't know either of those, I'm going to also make a video on how we can bypass this later on. So if you're interested in that, uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a separate video just strictly for bypass. So anyway, I'm going to quickly like the device right here and you will be able to see that I do have a pattern. There we go. And I'm going to progress from here as though I don't know my pattern. So number one, we need to turn off our device by holding power key and selecting power off. Now, when the device turns off, you want to hold the power key and volume up at the same time. Okay, so now that it's off, power key and volume up. Now, after holding it for like 20 seconds or so, it takes a while, uh, you will most likely see the, gal uh, not the Galaxy, the QBot logo on the screen, at which point you will let go of the power key for a moment and then start holding it again. There we go, let go of the power key, stop holding, start holding it again. Ah, damn it. It, for some reason, took the me holding power key as an input to reboot the device, so... I'm gonna just try again. So once more, hopefully this time around it won't accept the power key as an input, but I guess we will find out. Okay, so let's try it. Power, volume up. As you've seen, I did let go of the power key for a moment. Okay, there we go. So just to be safe, once the screen turns black, try to immediately let go of the keys. Uh, what happened before is when I was holding the power key, it accepted the first uh, option as an input, even though I was still holding the key. So it decided to reboot the device because, yeah. Anyway, from this menu, you will need to use volume keys to navigate and you want to select wipe data factory reset then confirm it with power key select factory data reset now on qbots the screen turns black uh just wait a moment it takes about yeah as you can see maybe five to ten seconds and after it's finished we're back in the uh, recovery mode right here so simply press power key once more because reboot system now should be selected by default if it's not then I think something might have gone wrong. So you might want to just, again, select factory reset just in case. And then you should have your reboot system now selected. So confirm it. This will reboot the device, obviously, and continue the process in the background. Now, because it is factory resetting the device, it might take it a little bit longer to boot back up. So just give it some time. Once the process is finished, you will be greeted with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. Okay, so as you can see, factory reset has now finished and we're in the setup screen. Now, like I mentioned before, for me this device is locked and you can see it right here. Uh, I did it purposefully so I can record then a video for bypass. So if you need a video for that, uh, just stay tuned. 
should be probably somewhere there if you search for it and i will show you how you can just bypass this so anyway if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching